hot and humid weather around the next couple of days across the valley. It looks like temperatures will stay uh, rather hot, you know, in the next four months. But in the short term, the hottest days between now and the middle of next week appear to be through this weekend. A little breezy each afternoon, and the next rain chance could come on Monday to help cool us off a little bit. So maybe Monday through about Wednesday or Thursday, at least a daily chance for a couple showers or a storm to pop up somewhere in this area or in the valley. It's really hot right now, though. 99 in Rio Grande City, 92 in Westlaco, 89 in Brownsville. You know, it's a little hotter than yesterday when you just look at the numbers, but the humidity is way up compared to yesterday, so it feels hotter. The heat index, let me get all out of the way. You can look at the numbers on the screen. Heat index is about 100 to 109 in many areas, 109 in Rio Grande City, 103 in Harlingen. That's how hot it feels with the effects of the humidity if you're standing in the shade. So a little extra stickiness in the air today with the dew points way up. Humidity is high. Dew points are in the mid 70s and will likely be at this number a little bit higher all the way through the weekend. Day planner tomorrow starts off near 80 in the morning. May see some patches of clouds, but most of the day will be similar to today with sunshine, breezy conditions, humidity and temperatures probably a little hotter tomorrow afternoon. So we should be well into the 90s. Some places, especially from about McAllen westward, could go over 100 degrees for a little while. Across Texas, though, it's still dry, still pretty clear. And we could see some changes down the road in terms of rain chances across Texas by Sunday and then maybe here on Monday. But the next day or so, if you're driving around the state, looks pretty dry. Future track for us shows the humidity tonight. Low clouds may be possible toward morning. And then tomorrow, like I said, kind of like today, hot, breezy, humid temperatures by noon already should be in the 90s and hovering in about the 95 to 100 range in the middle of the afternoon. By Saturday, if you're up early, some patches of clouds possible. But Saturday, again, looks about the same with hot Breezy and humid conditions. Temperatures again well into the 90s or near 100. Sunday, in case you're wondering, still looks hot, breezy, and humid. Uh, may see a few more puffy clouds later in the afternoon, but it does look to be about the same. Hurricane season, which is still about a week away, uh, the numbers released from NOAA today forecasting 11 to 17 name storms, a little bit near above average of the long term average of number of storms. So, name storms would be at least a tropical storm. Of those, Five to seven could become hurricanes. That's near average and two to four could become major hurricanes and that's near the long term average. Nothing out there right now. You see a clean sweep across the Caribbean and the Atlantic and the Gulf of Mexico. So your first one five seventy forecast. So does actually have some rain chances in it. It's a situation next week where we have a cold front moving in, but kind of hanging over us maybe so it could provide at least a daily chance for a shower storm to pop up. Until then, though, hot and humid with highs in the upper 90s and near 100 through Sunday. Memorial Day on Monday, we run about a 30% chance of a shower storm, mostly I think in the afternoon and evening, and the same could be true for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday with temperatures still above 90 in most areas. We'll keep tracking the rain chances down the road in your first 1-5 forecast. Carrie?